a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Right, right. It's it's a circle, right? Not an oval. Pizzas are not an oval. They're they're in a circle. Hey, I gotta go. It's time for me to go. Yeah, bye bye. Hey, hello. My name is Mr. Dawson. Welcome back to Discovery Ranch. My, uh, I'm here to show you how uh, some activities so you can read and write. Join me here each day so we can go on discoveries together. I was just on that phone call because. One of the workers at the ranch wanted to make a, an oval pizza. He thought that would be cool. And I said, no, 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 it's gotta be a circle because a pizza is a circle. All right, hey, remember, if you want to write to me here at the station and tell me something you've learned, guess what? I'm gonna send you an activity book. I can't wait to see what you write to me, because that's really what I'm looking for is writing. And today, this week, we're going to be writing about shapes. So write to me about shapes. Well, we better get learning. We better get learning. What's the first thing we're going to do? You know it. I know it. What is it? Shout it out loud. Daily phonemic awareness. Yes. Today, our game is rhyme. I'm going to give you two words and you tell me if they rhyme. Are you ready? Here's my two words, my first two words. Uh, jet, pet, do they rhyme? What's rhyme mean? Remember, rhyme means the sounds at the back sound the same. J, et, et, p, et, et. Jet, et, pet, et, et, et. Yes, they rhyme. So jet, pet. They both say et. Yes, good. Okay, here's another one. Are you ready? Car, jar. Do those two words rhyme? They do. Yes, they both have R. And don't forget, when you hear R, what is it? It's A-R, right. But here we go. Here we go. You ready? Car, jar. They both say R. And we know A-R spells R. Okay, here's our last pair. Okay, my, my words are cat and jeep. At, at, jeep, eep, at, eep. No, those don't rhyme. No, those don't rhyme. So I'm not gonna do my little thing because they, they do not rhyme, no. Okay, let's go on to our sight words. Are you ready for our sight words? Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna do the second row. Here we go, you ready? Right here, A-N spells an. M-E spells me. A spells A. U-P spells up. W-H-O spells who. W-I-T-H spells with. O-N spells on. W-A-S spells was. T-O spells two. H-A-D spells had. H-A-S spells has. And G-O spells go. Remember, when you put these words in your brain and keep them there, when you see them in a book, you'll be able to read them. And if you need to write them, you'll be able to call, recall them right out of your brain and say, oh, I know how to spell go. It's G-O, right, that's the power of knowing all of these words. All right, let's move on to uh, phonics. And remember, we're learning and reviewing our sounds. Are you ready? A, apple, a. Ah. This is train. It has the phoneme A, and A is for A. Remember, Vowels can have two sounds in kindergarten. E, egg, eh. And then the, we have tree. And tree has the phoneme E. And these are all the clues 
that are going to tell you it's going to say E. I, insect, I. And then we have five. And that has the phoneme I. And these are all the clues that you might see to tell you to say I. Ah, octopus. Oh, I did that backwards again. Oh, octopus, ah. It's all right to make mistakes. I do it all the time. And this is boat. And it has the phoneme O. Oh, and this is all, these are all the clues for you to know when to say O. Oh. U, umbrella, uh. Cube. And cube has the phoneme of U or U. And these are all the clues. Q, uh, the clues to let you know that. Oh, digraphs. Whale. Wuh is for WH. Cheese. Ch is for CH and ch is for TCH at the end. Uh, shell. Sh is for SH. Thumb. Th is for TH. And then we have our vowel teams, oi, oi, and oy. And then we have ow, ow, and ou say ow. And then we have oo for spoon, and these are all the clues for that. Let's stop there, because we have a lot of work to do and just a little time to do it in. Okay, remember, do you remember? I remember AR, what does AR say? AR says R. And these are all the pictures that we had that have R in them, like farm or barn, maybe. All right, so this is what I wanna do. I wanna look at a paper. Look at this paper right here. It says, read the words and listen for the AR sound. Circle the word that names the picture. Okay, what is this? A star, right. Okay, so which one is gonna say star? Remember, what says R? It's the A-R. So we know it would be this one, right? There's the word, st, R, there's the A-R. Do you see that? What is this? Arm, right, arm. Which one is gonna say arm? And remember the clue, which, yes, it's the second one. And there's the A-R. Do you see that? How nice. Okay, what is this? Oh my goodness, what is this? Shark, shark. Okay, which one is gonna say shark? Which one? Right, it's the second one again. How did you know? That clue, the A-R. A-R says R. How about the next one? Scarf, which one is scarf? Right, the first one. Did you see the clue right away? I bet you did. And then the last one, barn. Barn, which one? How incredible. Yes, it's the second one because A-R. What does A-R say? A-R says R. That is so cool. All right, now I want to go into writing. Are you ready for some writing? Remember, we've been using our essential question to help us. What shapes do you see around you? Name that shape. And we've been talking about all the shapes um, around the, the ranch. And we've been talking about the pizza farm that we're doing. Oh my goodness. Now it's time for us to write on what we were talking about and brainstorming yesterday. But before we do, I wanna come over here and look at the parts of a paragraph because that's important when we're doing our writing. Look right here, parts of a paragraph. You remember we have a topic, which is the bun, right? Remember me eating that burger last week? And then we have the conclusion, which is the bottom bun. These are important, but the really juicy parts are in the middle. The lettuce, the tomatoes, the onions, the pickles, the hamburger, those are the good parts. And I call those the details, the details, the details. That's what we're going to talk about today. Now remember, do you remember doing our, um, our uh, brainstorming tool yesterday? 
Let's go over here and look at it. I'm going to move these sight words right here so we can remember. Here we go. Do you remember? We're talking about shapes. And here's our details. Do you remember our details? Our details are, we want to talk about a circle, right? And then, you know, I, I thought about triangle and I said, no, I don't want to do a triangle. So I crossed it out after the show and said, I want to do oval, oval. I like that word. And then I want to do a star. Yes, we're going to talk about it. So now we have our ideas and we're going to use these to do our details in our writing. Are you ready to write? Here we go. Let me get my writing board up. Take this one down. Here we go. And then I'm going to put my writing board up here. Whoa, that would have been a nice one. Okay, now you can see our detail, our, our, our topic sentence. You can see shapes all around. Now we have to use our board that we have. I think I'll use black this time. And we're going to write. What was our first one? It was, um, oh, that's right. It was a circle. I can see it. So uh, we're going to say, you can see a circle. You can see a circle. Right? Look at all those sight words. You. Can. How do you spell can? C-A-N. You can see another sight word. S-E-E. -E. You can see A. Then what was our word? Circle. How many syllables is that? Circle. Two. Circle. There we go. What was the other one? Oval. And I'm going to use these same words because they're the same thing. You can see and this time because it's a, a vowel as the next word. Oval. That's a nice one. And our last one was try uh, was what? Oh, star. Star. You can see a star. And I can use these same words. You. Uh-oh, that was a mistake. I put an A instead of a U, uh, an O. You can see. You see how I'm doing this? I Just like you, I'm remembering all these sight words in my head. You can see a and then star. We did it. We did it. You can see shapes all around. You can see a circle. You can see an oval. You can see a star. Shapes are all around us. Look what we've done. We wrote a paragraph with a topic, details, and a conclusion. We're going to look more at this tomorrow. Be with me. Come back so you, we can look at our paragraph a little bit closer. Right now, it's time for me to go. We'll see you later. Bye. Learning is good for everyone.